Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squirt, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, loud, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the book. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah! <laughs> the Queen Supreme Court starts now. Child, we are at it again, honey. And this time, we're taking the Queen's Supreme Court live show down to the Riviera Maya in Mexico. Now, girl, y'all already know how we went down into the Dominican Republic last year and told them people down. Baby, we let the Dominican Republic have it, baby. Mexico, it's y'all turn, and y'all better get ready. Mark your calendars. July 10th through the 15th, you need to rush over there to www.qscvacations.com. That's qscvacation.com to get your ticket. Everything is included, baby. Food, drinks, and lodging, girl. All you got to do is get there. So come on. Don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. Die to the bar in Mexico. Yes, God, honey. What's up, everybody? Make sure you're tuned in every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. to my very new web series, Beyond the Bench. You'll be glad you did. It's on my YouTube channel, T.S. Madison Hinton. See you there. Bye. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Live from the basement of a marvelous chateau, it's the Queen Supreme Court. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Who oh, what's up in YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one. I guess I'm not getting any help tonight. Every single one <laughs> oh, I of my bitches. <laughs> We do that on the podcast. I know. Christian <laughs> Mingo and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, honey. Yes, it is me. I may not look like me, but bitch, I am T.S. Madison, honey. And I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color, bitch, from the marvelous chateau. And welcome to the Queen's Supreme Court, bitch. And it ain't the Supreme Court unless it's going something like this. <laughs> Sus, you know, I've been, you, look. I don't know what this bitch gave me. She gave me some kind of gummy treat when she got here, girl. This bitch gave me a gummy treat. I'm feeling funny. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling funny. You know that bitch come from California. Wait a minute. I got to. I know y'all ready, honey. I know y'all ready. Oh, oh. Make it, make it. What? Make it do what you do at here. I'm like a marriage bitch. Make it do what it do. Make it do what you do, it do, and have my remarriage, make it do what it do. No. Come on, bitch, make it do what it do, make it do, make it do what it do. Tell a bitch, say, uh, hey. Security, I'm gonna tag my monster. She said, she said, she said, she said, she said, 
you said? Oh, wait, they moving up. Hey, they moving, bitch. Sister, they moving. They, they, they moving like that. Oh, I almost busted to the butterfly. Ooh, but uh oh, that's old. I almost hit the floor and did the wet bitch. I almost hit the wet. Hey, I made the wet say. I almost gave up. Oh, dear God. I'm living on I can't move like that. Dear God, my knee. My knee, God. Oh, my knee. 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 I, bitch, you older than me. You should be motherfucking grabbing your knees. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm in perfect health and shape. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Queen Supreme Court. And my guest tonight is none other than the legendary Flame Monroe! Thank you, Maddie. Flame, yes, listen. Ma'am. Thank you for having me on your wonderful show, The Queen Supreme. Thank you. Listen, Flame, you are our, I shouldn't even have to count them, Craig, but I'm gonna be messy. You are our, like our fourth transgender woman <gasps> to sit here on the bench, you know, because they always say that I don't have enough transgender women, but I like visible. Transgenders of my show, because mm. I'm already transgender enough. I, he wasn't man enough for me. <laughs> so, with so that, you believe in inclusion since I'm on the show, unlike some other people who have shows with no transgender women on their show. Oh, uh oh. Can I get an amen? You got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> We're not about to start. We're not gonna say today. We're not gonna start these things, flame. I'm not have gonna... another sip of wine. <laughs> the drunker she get, the messy I'm gonna get her, y'all. I promise. I'm gonna pull it out of her. Oh my dear God. <laughs> All right. Well. And my pull out game ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, three kids later. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, bit Craig. Mm -hmm. Block who this is down there in the comment section. Oh, block this. It. Block them. Go on and block them. I ain't with that bullshit. Block them. And block them on my motherfucking... But bitch, this is a live show, and we watching what you put the assholes is saying. <laughs> so watch it, bitch. Ooh. The queen has spoken. That's all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, okay. Before I get started, I want to introduce Flame only the way that I know how to introduce Flame. <laughs> okay, here we go, y'all. Uh-oh. Security! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when I was very, 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 very young. See, I got a problem with so just a, like three or four too many berries. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just letting the girls know that Mom you- worked. I was just letting the girls know that you are a seasoned girl. <laughs> You're seasoned. Oh my God. I was introduced to Flame Monroe as a child via BET's Comic View. See, a lot of you people might have just ran into Flame Monroe from from her, from the from the magnanimous. That means big, right, Craig? No, that's more generous. Well, obviously, the person that I'm speaking about is what you put in that gummy, bitch. Girl, nothing. Don't <laughs> you feel I'm wonderful? And slightly. You don't think you're a real bitch when the show is that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, girl, what I say? Oh, okay. <laughs> humongous. Were we talking about me or her? You were talking about the Netflix special. This year. Okay, the humongous Netflix special, Magnanimous, because that's what Tiffany Haddish was, Magnanimous. Yeah. Um, you guys just got introduced to her, but I want to take y'all back on a lesson way back in time. Wait a minute. See all the extra shit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is why queens have issues with each other. This is why I'm only the fourth queen on here. All this extra shit, Houston, we have a problem. You're going to take us back a few years back. Just say it nice. See the wine, and then I get a bitch a piece of candy. Miss Mary going to fuck you up for doing that, too. That candy got her. <laughs> yeah, you brought this shit from California. <laughs> Homegrown by the white folks, baby. It's real good. <laughs> Girl, this bitch got my eyes hanging low already. I ain't with none of this shit. I'm gonna function now. Let me get let me matter to get it together. Okay, go back to praising me. Come on. So <laughs> I was it was only two queens that I had ever seen on television at that time because I'm not from the Flip Wilson era and no ish nor we're only two queens that I saw. 
Everybody wanted to be a comedian. <laughs> Uh, well, it was it was RuPaul, and the second that I had saw for me was Flame Monroe, and Flame Monroe hails all the way from the windy city of Chicago, West Illinois, side. the West Side, and West she, side. she get on in a motherfucker. West Side. Now, how I was introduced to Flame Monroe, which we'll dig into the on the after show called Cracking the Cold Cases. Oh, let me put you in teacher mode since she's teaching y'all. Hold on. I got a gift for you. Put your glasses on, bitch. Teach, teach the folks. Teach the already. I hope these glasses ain't laced with weed. I'm leaving the, the too late. You're here gummy. <laughs> we need a tag on, bitch, so you can look like Minnie Pearl from Hee Haw. Oh, shit. I don't already told the bitch y'all. Okay. Oh, Craig, Craig, remind me. We what almost I was twins, girl. You were talking about Chicago. Okay. She hails from the windy city of Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. This bitch is high. <laughs> oh, my God. What you gave me, girl? I <laughs> <don't shoot. laughs> From Chicago, Illinois, West Side. And I, I was so fascinated with, with Flame Monroe because Flame Monroe was a trans woman that spoke my language. She was one of the first trans women that I knew in public. Well, one I knew her probably I was only I only saw her. But she was one of the girls that that, that that's kinda spoke to me and kinda spoke in my soul. Girl, these glasses too bright. I'm already high as fuck right now. So I can't. <clears throat> that spoke to me and spoke to my soul. Especially because Flame herself is Honey, she ain't shame that she got no dick. Oh, security. <laughs> She's not ashamed of that. And when some of you guys met me online, you met me, New Weave 22 Inches. I, I met y'all at the door naked. And like when I, when Flame and I met with each other and we got together in, in LA, and bitch, she told me, Maddie, you a star. Don't you never change your filthy mouth. And they fired her the next two days for every job that she had over there. The places I knew I couldn't even go see her no more. They fired her. So I couldn't take this whole advice. I had to clean some of that shit up. <laughs> and that's why I brought her here today. So that she could say all the filthy, nasty, dirty. Or do you do that no more now that you're in, be in bed with Netflix? I'm, I'm actually mainstream. Netflix is just the, the cusp. I'm, it's on. And I didn't get fired. I was, just, I was asked to retire. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like I wish our president would do is fucking retire. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I met Maddie, saw her on YouTube. She came to California. We connected. She came to the house. We talked. She came to the house and ate. Met my children. So we were cool. There was no pomp and circumstance. There was no need. And she came and she said, "I saw you. I was a fan of yours." And woo, woo, woo. I've been, listen, I've been a fan of you since I was a child, girl. You got to make sure you tell the kids that. But bitch, I'm only 10 years older than you, so <laughs> <laughs> technically, ho, let's just call this shit out since you want to go very, 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 very back, bitch. Let's go very, very, very up. This man got it, y'all. This whole drunk and high. Ooh. By the end of this show, ain't neither one of us going to look like this. We're going to look like the two old white men from the Muppets. The one that back, shit, bitch. And we both is high as shit. I just want you to know. <laughs> but I admire Maddie's tenacity and her diligence. And Wait a minute. What was that issues. word? Tenacity and diligence. I thought you said tenacity. I said tenacity. I speak very clear English, especially when I'm heated. So when we when we get into a heated debate, bitch, we're, if we're, I accidentally grab your hand, if, I promise you it's just reflex. <laughs> <laughs> so if I accidentally give you this nice black ass elbow to that titty oh, over there. Oh, this is a good titty, bitch. Hit that one. Oh, this is <laughs> that one that fits, bitch. This is a good hit that one, bitch. <laughs> Uh, I told her she was going to, and she was having issues with another young lady at the time who was calling herself an internet sensation. I said, girl, don't even feed that. It's going to disappear. It has disappeared. Because <clears throat> can't no bitch do what I tell you. What I tell you five years ago. Can't no bitch do what? What I do. Uh, that's it. That's it. And if everybody thought like that, we would be in a much better place in our lives because I can't do what you do. Neither do I want to do this. This is not what I want to do for my living, but I love that you're making your money. And you don't do what I you can't. You ain't doing what I do. Not to say that you couldn't. Because you've encouraged me and said that I should. And, do. I, and I think you should do stand up. But now I'm hoping that I have kicked the doors open for so many other people that now all you have to do is show up. You don't have to make excuses about how you live your life or that you're a trans person. You just show up and be funny, and they'll embrace you. Because I've been fighting that battle for us for 17 years in the business. All right. Well, do you think it? Oh, no, that's for the uh, the show. I just got. I wanted to tell people how I got introduced to you was I, you, your comedy and then the way you had read 
Was it Cheryl? Cheryl read me back. So that's the, so that was fair game. Y'all both listen, but you came. You 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 tore her up. We'll talk about it later on yeah, the after yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, Make sure you guys branch. are tuning into uh, Cracking the Cold Cases with Kia Smash. Are we what cases are we cracking? Well, season? speaking of cracking the cold cases, bitch, you know, let's take this bitch to court. Before we start, I'd like to start out by giving a special round of applause to Tyler Miranda Perry. <laughs> no, do not as the first I love Tyler Perry. African American to own a studio outright. No corporation partners are involved in the venture. That's a huge thing. 300 acres. Don't discount the 300 acres. 12 lots named after people that he admired, including Sissy Lee Tyson and the late, great Ruby D and her husband, Ossie Davis, and Oprah Winfrey and all these people. So what he has done, and everybody has different feelings about Tyler. I get that part. But Tyler can we, has, we gonna need you to speak up loud. I can do that. Put the mic right in my face. I had some big and black in my face <laughs> before. It's been years, but I had some big and black in my face. Dad, gonna put it right there. What Tyler has done is opened up the door to show young black men or young men, period, that's in movie making in Hollywood that you can, you too can do this. You can do what I have done. So I think that's wonderful. That and there have been other men in the business who had this opportunity who did not embark on it. And let me say his name is Spike Lee who used to tear Tyler Perry up by saying that Tyler was cooning by doing Medea. But look what Tyler has grown into. But, you know, interestingly enough, too, there's a studio named after Spike Lee. Spike Lee right. was there. Right, and he was there. I saw mm -hmm. him on the red carpet. So with all that tearing Tyler Perry down and woo-woo-woo, now look right where we at. All the way 360. And he has a studio. He didn't turn that down. He didn't say don't name a studio after me. In fact, he came to show up for it. Go back a few years. So see, it's people just feel at different places in their lives. That's why when this guy who lost his job on Saturday Night Live recently, I didn't agree with some of the stuff that he said, but I also didn't agree that they should have fired him. If you're going to fire people for stuff that we have said or done in the past, ain't nobody going to work. Ain't nobody going to have anything. We've all done things that we've done in the past that we wouldn't do now. I'm not going to say I was ashamed of some of the shit I said or have done, but, you know, now it's a different plateau. It's a different precipice because of social media. Everybody get butt hurt and get in their feelings. Oh, I got a hundred dislikes. I don't know a hundred people. Neither do I want to. My circle is small and tight and trusty. Your token, you, well, ain't nothing, about you no, small, we ain't nothing about you small or tight. <laughs> <laughs> Trusting maybe yes, because I met your mama. But small and tight, that don't even fall for this bitch, y'all. She ain't got nothing small or tight. I seen her naked. Ain't nothing small or tight. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet as kill. They see me naked, too. <laughs> Thanks for my mortgage. Anyway. <laughs> and touche. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kudos to Tyler Perry. Yes, I, just... I love you, Tyler Perry, and I'm waiting on a phone call. I need to be Medea's sister or something, well, auntie. Cause... Well, you might be waiting for a very long, 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 long. I don't believe that. Long, I long. See, I think I'm in his radar. You thank, could play Thank you, sister. Tiffany Haddish. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, listen, and you can thank Tiffany Haddish for that because you have that's a, that's a, that's a for sure walking the doorway in. But what? A, mm, all right. Mm. <clears throat> Don't start talking about walking in doorways because I'm gonna start bringing up RPDR. You gonna get upset. That wine gonna get a little sweeter to you, bitch. You gonna be ready to cuss me out, baby. Look at it. She got quiet. The church is quiet. Did she say RPDR? Baby. Paul's Reg Ray. <laughs> you said that. I didn't say. But that. I'm not a drag queen, though. I don't know what you're talking about. What is that? <laughs> what are you, a female personator? You a woman? No, I'm a transgender woman. Oh, and what am I? What do you identify as, Flame? Girl, I don't know. What time is it? <laughs> 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 this is Cinderella effect. In about three hours, all this shit coming off. <laughs> Flame going back in the bag. MP going to show up. Who was MP? Hey, you asking too many personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> you said your real name on that Netflix. I just feel well, like then you need to Google it and find it the fuck out. All right. Because I ain't telling. All right. So uh, what do you want me to refer to you as tonight while, while we're going through the show? Please. If you Whatever you feel. If you feeling he, call me he. If you feeling she, call me. I promise you the pronouns, it just never resonated with me. It's with you. With, with you. With, and let me say that again yeah. for the people in the back. With you. With me. I'm speaking of my own person. That's why I have this fan that says he, she, we. Do y'all see that? What did it say? He, she, we. 
Cause he cashed the check, she get the money, and we spend it. That's one thing. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about no pronoun. Did that check hit Wells Fargo and clear? Thank you. Cause all that he is see, and that to me, let me go down this road. Cause here we go, Madison. We finna go at it, bitch. This is our problem in the trans community that we want to fight over the small, tiny stuff. I don't care about the pronoun accidentally being calling me he or she. I don't care about which bathroom I use. Cause when I go to the bathroom, two things gonna happen. I'm going to pull my pants up, I'm going to pull my skirt down, and I'm going to pull my dick out. And I'm going to pee in the toilet. Ladies, you'll know if I've been in your bathroom because I'm still a player. I leave the toilet seat up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a big deal to me. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this current administration is moving slowly and steadily to erase us. They, don't, they want us to lose our jobs for being transgender. People who've been served 20 years in the military are kicked out because they're transgender. We're not in up, up in arms over there. They just arrested Ed Buck after killing two black men and Three. almost got away with another one. The yeah. other one, he didn't die, but he's alive mm -hmm. to tell the story. Mm -hmm. So now we will know that the monster that this man is, yeah. so we'll see the other side of him because this man is a monster. But we weren't up in arms about that. Right. We just mad because you called me the wrong pronoun. All right. Well, let me devil's advocate that. Come on with it. Since we sitting up here talking. Throw your hair back, Connie Chong. That's right. <laughs> That's what you're giving me. All right, Connie Chong. I'll take Very it. reporter feel. Very take reporter. It. I don't want to be Connie. She lost her job here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, well, you be better watch job. what you say up here first. You, you be just like Connie. Hey, everybody who's spending that more Povich money. Hey, everybody who know, know. All right. <sighs> Come on, devil's advocate. Don't lose your train of thought. That well, oh, I, no, that, I ain't lose my train of thought on this. I just want to word it correctly. Okay. We can't. This is Queen's Court. No, it's Queen's Supreme Court. That old shit is dead. Oh, well, this is Queen's Queen Supreme Court. Ain't no, no wrong words. Say it, bitch. Say it where I can understand it, because I only got an eighth grade education. All right. Well, I'm going to say it where you can understand with your eighth grade education. <laughs> Flame. do you know that by you publicly being a public individual, you know, which is fine, mm -hmm. and you say... Uh, you know, you identify as a transgender woman and you allow people to just he, call you he and this and the other. And then there's another public transgender woman like myself who I don't give a fuck what name you know. I didn't give you that name to communicate with me about it. And I didn't give you that pronoun that associates with that name. I am T.S. Madison and I identify as a transgender woman. Now, a lot of people like to hear that side of the story that it don't offend me. I don't care about it and you could call me he she or it as long as you ain't whatever and that and then in a, in a, in a person like myself they run to just like I did with Rodney Perry who was a friend of yours who was comfortable you guys were comfortable in that space of him referring to you as he and 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 that type of stuff you know because he wanted this net that what he you know this is what he said to me and I said listen that's the relationship that you have with flame you know Tonight, when you and I talked upstairs, mm -hmm. I feel like that we came to a place of, you know what I need to start doing is saying, well, not start because you probably already do it, but really emphasizing that, listen, this pertains to me. When you meet another transgender person out in the street, don't try it on it because they may dunk, slam dunk you on your shit. I agree with that, but I never knew that that you were going to meet Rodney Perry, first of all. I know. And I never thought that he would address you like that because I work with him in a comedy arena. We're not friends. We don't go to dinner together. Mm. I've never been in his house. He's never met my No, son. but I wasn't mad at him. you because that's... No, no, no. Oh, I knew you weren't mad. I'm, I'm, say, I'm going to back to the point of what you said. I know that this was not about me. This was about Rodney being comfortable enough with you because he was that comfortable with me. Like you said, he didn't know you, but he knows me in the comedy arena. We are not friends. So I never took it that because if I take everything offensive that was said to me in the comedy clubs, girl, I wouldn't even still be here. Right, right. But I believe that that's that space where it goes down in the, in the comedy space. Well, you checked him. You did what you was Yeah, I did check him. you're a grown ass woman. You I did. To I check told him. him, nigga, listen, I'm about a lot of things. I don't know what the fuck you and Flame got going on, but that ain't what me and you got. Well, respect is commanded a lot of times. So you let him know. So I so, bet you he won't do it again. And, and I need to let people know out there in the world because, see, this is the thing. There are a lot of people that you, you, you and, and they, they, they were. They just not finna address me the same way they address you. And they not gonna, they need to, cause I can't do what you do and you, you don't do what I do and you don't identify what I identify as when it comes out or, or that may not bother you. But it bothers me because I don't give a fuck what you know. I do feel like it's a disrespectful to me, to me. It's a disrespectful thing. You don't know how much time, energy, effort this woman, or this trans person I put into who they are for you to blankly walk up. Hey sir, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? I just don't, I just, I find it disres disrespectful. You know what I find funny about that, that you said that? So how many times have we watched other trans girls, trans sisters of ours, any nationality, 
get into an altercation when somebody walk past them and say, excuse me, sir, excuse me, man, but you a dude. They getting huffing, puffing, arguing, going back and forth. They snatch their wig off and they go to is, don't disrespect me. I'm still a motherfucking man. What's the fucking difference? Well, Stop. Think about it. What's the difference? Well, the, I, I didn't have to really think about it. Well, the difference <laughs> Did is... Did you call yourself a man or he just called you a man? Ain't that how we got here? No. Well, the difference is this person is calling you a man because he's trying to... He is, he is trying to... It's the power behind the phrase. He's calling this person a man to try to break the, the feeling and the character of that individual down. Wherefore, we're letting this fuck-ass fuck nigga know that nigga don't ever in a day think that because what you've given me, gay, trans and LBGT is inferior to you, I will still do you like you think you're going to do me. Girl, you said that so with so much ooh, I, testosterone. I, I, oh, my God. <laughs> God, I was hard to see the trans do all that. Oh, my God, she was aggressive. What? They got turned on, ladies and gentlemen. Shit. Ooh, what is, wait a minute. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> And her name was Marcus, bitch, because I'm cool with that. I mean, you know, but just for me. You I know? do, and I hear what you're saying, Maddie, but what difference is it when we revert back to that? We cannot, if we're going to stay in character as that woman, then you have to stay in character as that woman. You can't get an attitude and snatch your wig off, and your go-to is, I'm still a damn man. It's the same circle. It's, it's where you started. It's not the, con but the context I of it is not the mean. same. I know what you're it's saying. It's because we, are being, we have been related, and we've been associated with so many many inferior things we are we we're, we're associated with weaknesses and all that and a man has been associated with strength well, muscle you're, you're power trans, first of all you're a trans woman right yes you have you ever been in a relationship with a man yes okay so automatically you already know who wore the pants in that relationship he did no he did not you did any trans woman that deal with a man is always the money maker and the breadwinner and she runs the relationship bitch and don't tell me you ain't got to be 50 to know that Am I telling you the lie of the truth? Yeah, say it. It's very right there. It Ain't varies. no very shit. Ain't no very shit. Well, I'm a girl. I'm a successful you're, girl. No, so you're I'm a hustler. I'm Stop. a successful you're girl. You're a hustler. I am. When you was with that nigga, that nigga couldn't match you on money. That's why you control the relationship. That's why you was the player in that relationship. I'm talking to you real. Fuck this camera. I'm talking to you <laughs> real, bitch. <laughs> See how the bitch laughing? Y'all see? Uh -huh. Y'all see? Y'all see? Right, see? right. See? Oh, bitch, well, we're going to call it, bitch. We're going to call it. But this is good conversation. It's great conversation because it's true. Like it. I I just, exactly. I, I see both sides. And I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying, Maddie. And I'm here. I'm a student of life. I'm going to learn every day if you teach me the right way. But my, am, my am, point I, am, is, I, am I trying to teach you, you the wrong you are, way? No, you're not teaching me the wrong way. But I'm trying to get you to understand that we cannot speak for our whole community as individuals. We are different yeah. people. Everybody is different shapes, sizes, colors. Woo -woo. Yes, we all fall up under the same umbrella yes. of transgender, but I don't think like you. Just like all black people don't think exactly. like you. Exactly. And I get it. And listen, and, 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 and I've, I've never never disrespected you or wanted oh, no, no, to disrespect no, no, no. you ever. I'm not, when I say you, I don't mean being yes. you. I'm talking about the community. You know, and we've always respect, respectably agreed to disagree, and I think that people should have that, that they would do that. And speaking of people... Uh, Agree to disagree. First up on the docket, we have Stacy Dash. Oh, we ain't gonna disagree on this bitch at all. Let's just call. All. Okay, this bitch beat up a. Hundred Uh, Stacey Dash was arrested for domestic battery after an incident Sunday night in Newport, Ritchie, Florida. According to the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, the clueless actress was taken into custody after an argument with a male whose name was redacted in an incident report obtained by CNN. She is accused of pushing and slapping him. The report states that the police were called into a home Sunday evening to respond to a domestic dispute between the two. All right. We also have, according to all the things online, when she was arrested, uh, Stacy Dash Loretta. Stacy Loretta Dash. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we come to find out that she's a white female, mm. according to her uh, booking records. <laughs> now, we did look up to make sure that this was not forged or fake. This is real. Now, I'm going to play this devil's advocate here, Flame, and I'm going to let you give us the real. Okay. Stacy Dash, mm -hmm. raised on her, her, her booking the record, says white. 
Oh. You get female. Oh. So I, I get rid of the female part. Uh, you get rid of <laughs> um white. Now she probably didn't do that. The booking people did it. When they were booking, you know, you 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 not been booked, girl. You done did five five years of prison, bitch. You not been booked. I'm just listening to this bullshit you're trying to say. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish your statement. You been booked. So the, the booking people probably put in, put a field the dot in while uh, they were uh, uh, while uh, they were booking her yeah. in. So yeah. that was so like I'm kind of on her side, and plus I'm trans anyway, so I can't be. I can't be fucked up in there. If she, if I identify as a female, I'm gonna have to let her identify as white. Ladies and gentlemen, no wine and gummies for this bitch. No <laughs> First of all, let's go back. Can we flash that picture just one more time, real quick, please, of Stacey Dash? Because I need to revisit that. Okay. First of all, bitch, if that black that hairstyle don't scream Keisha, bitch, that is Keisha <laughs> from uh, uh, from uh, what's the ghetto part of uh, Georgia? No, no, no. Yeah, baby, that's Keisha from Bankhead. That that's white. That ain't white. Second of all, this black bitch lives in in Richie in Newport, Richie, Florida. That don't even sound like black people can drive through there. First of all, let me go. Let's let's that's revisit that. That sounds very Caucasian. Oh, correct. Very Caucasian. Ca what is it? Ca what is it, black? Caucasian. Wait a minute. Go on, take this out. Take this bitch off the screen right now. <laughs> Take this bitch off the screen, because we go, it sounds very what, bitch? It sounds very Caucasian. Okay, just sounding Caucasian. It sounded Caucasian. The hairstyle looked very black. Bitch, well, that was Keisha. Like two white women. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Thirdly, this bitch is a Donald Trump supporter. So I have no love for Stacey Dash because she forgot that she was a sister. Yeah. So you can marry into another race. You can live. You can have their children and everything else. Hey, what? Guess Myrtle, what? Hey, as what? soon as he get mad at you, wait a you, minute. You can have a children or a child. You can have their children. You can. Uh, you can. When you marry a white man, you can have his children. I'm sorry, I knocked that over because I'm getting. I'm ready. You can have their children <laughs> and everything else. Guess what? As soon as he get mad at you, guess what he gonna say? Nigga, get the fuck up out of here. And if you was a man, and she's in Florida, he can shoot that bitch and get away with it and say, stand your ground. You don't believe me? Ask uh, 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 Trayvon Martin's mama. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Stacey Dash. So what we gonna do? We gonna is we, we need to set our sister free. Our she wife she is free. She ain't one of us. We gave her back. <laughs> we don't want her. Don't <laughs> that bitch. Take her. Who else? Who else? Who's the other ones? There's a couple of other ones y'all can have. That that ain't crossed over. I would say we what? just talked about Tyler Perry now. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to let you attack my friend Tyler. I know him personally. I'm having dinner at his house tonight. Okay, okay. good. Tell him I said He just hi. don't know I'm coming. I'm just going to show up. <laughs> well, that's a good buzzer. <laughs> Stacey Dash is a fool. And if she hasn't what realized, Kanye? if she hasn't realized that she's black, she realized it when they locked her black ass up. Because she didn't have, if there was a white woman, why they wouldn't even arrested the white woman. They would call her domestic disturbance and drove off. They arrested her. They reminded her, bitch, whatever you think you are, you're you, not. You are not. You are a black woman. <laughs> black, this, you are in Donald Trump's America that you love and support. And quiet and the quiet is care. You are not just a black woman. You are currently right now a black bitch. <laughs> Mm -mm, she's an inmate, baby. She got a number. 206-3497, baby. Oh, holla at her, bitch face. Holla at her, bitch. She started in the movie Clueless. Bitch, you have been clueless for years. Mother said it. Bring it on. What's next? Stacey Dash, inmate prisoner number one. Boom. <laughs> dismiss. All right. Speaking of dismiss, Amber, how did Geiger... Was convicted to ten years, yeah. and many black folks are outraged. Let's go, Flame. This, this, I'm letting you do the rule. What, what you outraged about? You outraged that she got ten years. You outraged that the brother of the of the victim came and gave her a hug and said he forgave her, or are you outraged that this black judge came off the bench to hug this woman as if she was giving her a fucking pass? Cause that's what I'm outraged about. Yep, I'm upset about the 10 years. I'm not upset about the brother because I don't know how his mother raised her, him. But it shows that he knows forgiveness. He knows Christ. He knows the Lord. Whatever they're going through in that in that arena. But the, for the judge to come off and hug this woman as if to say, I'm sorry I had to give you the 10 years, but I had to because this was my job responsibly. It was irresponsible of the judge. She should be removed from the bench. Take her and Kavanaugh with you, goddammit. 
I said it, bitch. Come on. I ain't got no warrants. That my license is straight. I got a passport. Come on with me. Bring it on. Everything legal right now. I got two EBT cards in two different states, bitch. What else you need to know? <laughs> uh, she should be removed from the bitch. I thought that was I thought that was just bad. That just was bad business. If you're a judge, you have to remain impartial. You yeah. are, you're a judge. I'm at your court right now. You are a judge. Yes. You have to be impartial to what you're facing. You can say your opinion, and you can feel however you feel, but publicly, you can't show that you feel this way for this one or that way for that one because that discredits you as a judge. And this is why every time you and I have a conversation about this stuff, I say that I see your point and I feel your point because I've also experienced your point, and I'm in the middle with it. With the judge? Hug oh, no, I ain't in the, Listen, for oh, me... I like to choke that bitch. Listen, for me, as many black folks, did they hug uh, uh, Zimmerman? Hmm. No, they let that motherfucker go, right? My yeah. thing is they didn't even hug any of the families of these black people that were killed. Say it again Trayvon, for the people in the back, saying, why don't you? They didn't even hug any of them. Trayvon Martin's mama didn't get, get a hug. Uh, Sandra Bland's family. Like, a lot of these people weren't even, you know, weren't even... Uh, what you want? Yes, Baby, Thursday. say it again for the people in the back, why don't you? Because that was disrespectful. And it was disrespectful to the family. It was disrespectful to the deceased. And fuck that bitch, Amber Geiger. Amber Geiger was on the phone texting after working a double shift with her ex-partner, current boyfriend, while he was laying in the bed with his present wife. Bitch, you better read between the lines and see that she was frazzled because she had did a double shift at work and that nigga couldn't come lay up in the bed with her because he was in the bed with his wife. So she walked into the wrong apartment and said admittedly that she shot to kill. Not shot to wound, shot to kill. You know your own place even in the dark because of a familiar smell. Everybody house smells different and you know the smell in your own house. That white bitch is lying. Yep, I said it. Case over, goddammit. Fuck and, and, that and bitch. The, the key witness, Joshua Brown. Is now is dead. Now dead. dead. Two yeah. days later after testifying. Hold on, I Baby. don't think we need to stay on this too much longer. Because I ain't got heated, bitch. I'm about to take my wig off and get real jiggy, bitch. <laughs> oh, they ain't got nothing with you being heated because I'm with you with that. I'm just scared. I don't want to be a, uh-uh. Oh, you don't want to be a target? No. That was in Texas, right? Oh, well, let's get so back in into it. Texas, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't take no bookings in the next two years in Texas, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, Amber Geiger should have got more than 10 years, and I hope that her days in prison are hell. I hope that every time she closed her eyes at night, and I'm saying this to you, sister, if you see this any kind of way or get any kind of internet, that you, when you close your eyes every night, that you see that man's face because he was innocent in his own house mm -hmm. doing his thing while you was trying to sneak around with somebody else's husband. Bitch. Husband. Bitch. That was not his girlfriend. That was his husband. Bitch. I mean, her husband. And that's what you did. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You know what? Mother had you. Mother love you. Motherfuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy prison, bitch. On to the next. Another bitch with a number. 307-2419, bitch. R. Kelly. See ya. Oh. <laughs> so we only do a prison. <laughs> Ira I, I, Kelly, Kelly denied bail because the judge fears he may be a flight risk. My mind's telling me no. <laughs> it was also discovered that he's been funneling money to a friend's but account. But that booty, <laughs> that booty is telling them yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't don't wanna... drop the soap, R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it's saying right here, Flame, mm -hmm. he might be a flight risk, and it's also discovered that he's been funneling money to a friend's account. Let me see your, let me see your cash out, but yo, let me see that. I got a present for you. Let me see your cash out. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you might be the friend that he funded in the money. Y'all both from the south side of Chicago. I'm from the west side, boo, and R. Kelly is not my get down. He does not like what I like. Well, technically, yeah. He like what I like, what I have, but he don't like what I like. <laughs> but he likes what you like a little bit older. Oh, oh no. I mean younger. Let me tell you something. I used to go to a, a restaurant years ago in Chicago when we used to do the club. Hold on, hold on. I knew I was going to get a... Uh R. Kelly confessional out of this bitch. Go ahead. Well, we used to work, go to a club and we used to work the host role. This was many years ago. I, mean, I said, I'm telling you, this is real truth. Put your ears to the screen, y'all. And he used to come to the restaurant. It was called the Golden Nugget. It was up north on Clark. And he was always with two or three girls. Not They didn't look underage because he was young at the time. And he was always respectful to all the queens in the restaurant because that was our hangout spot. And he would always speak, and he was always cordial. He, I never know anybody say they had a story where they messed around with him or anything. He was always respectful. So to hear what has happened to R. Kelly is is shocking. But I, my take on that is, where are the fucking parents? Yeah. Because nigga, you say you believe you can fly. You fuck with one of my daughters. You gonna have to prove it. You got daughters. <laughs> you have daughters. Two daughters. 
son. 12 and 16, and a son. But you fuck with one of my daughters, nigga. You say you believe you can fly. Let me take you to the top of the Sears Tower. Let me give you a choice. This bullet or that side of that building. Because you're going to get them both. I'm going to shoot you, then push your ass off the side of the building. I just want to see if you can fly. You said I believe he made millions of dollars off I believe I can fly. Let's see. I would have videotaped it. I believe I can fly. I bet that nigga wish he could fly with them walls right now. <laughs> he say he could touch the sky. He think about freedom every night and day. <laughs> they threw the key away and locked him away. Yes, well, yes, it was well overdue. It was, and a lot of those parents should have intervened with their girls. I'm going to get my daughters, so I do feel like the parent, like the parents, should be locked up. Well, they say the parents sold their daughters, so th this goes back to you as a person. This ain't got nothing to do with color, even though it was mostly black girls. This goes back to you as a person. Will you? This is why I never did a reality show because I was not going to sell out my children. That shit will come back to haunt you, and it's on tape forever, forever. I'm not selling out my children. That's why I'm sitting here doing your show with you, bitch. And that's because I ain't on a reality show making no change. I'm doing this shit with you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't give a fuck, ho. We've been talking about doing this for five years, lady. <laughs> no, no, me and Master just cutting up. She had wine. I had a gummy. Which wow. means? I had a gummy. I had two gummies. She had two gummies. <laughs> but don't tell the mama. Let me tell you something. The mama cooked. Bitch, all, all people who know me know I'm real particular about food. Miss Mary. Miss Mary ain't no joke in the kitchen, bitch. She might have got her husband off her, um, uh, some other skills, but she kept him with them cooking skills, bitch. Miss Mary can burn me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that I had? What was that meat? Sauce. Oh, <laughs> it was straight to pig ass, lady, man. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Hands God. Up, don't shoot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to give a sad condolences to the family of Diane Carroll. She passed away Legend. at the age of 84 Legend. in her Los Angeles home after a long bout with breast cancer. That does not say breast cancer. But she, I read but it. That's, what, that's where she's at for oh, breast okay. cancer. She, I might uh, be in my cup, but I'm on my beat. <laughs> okay, a lot on. of people don't know that they know only Diane Carroll from Dynasty, but Diane Carroll was the first black woman to have her own series in 1968. Oh, come called, on back. Um, Julia. Julia. And she and, wasn't a domestic. And she was not a domestic. She was a teacher, right? Yeah. Was teacher she was a school teacher. She was a school teacher. Okay. And she had a son. She was a single parent. Mm -hmm. This is unheard of in the 60s. And she and the show was called Julia, and she was the star of the show. So she was the very first to do this. So she, when, when we think that we're doing something big, we always have to remember that we are standing on the shoulders of somebody mm -hmm. who came before us to pave the way, to make a way so that we can do what we do and it be accepted. And, 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 you, and it's still, like they said, there's a lot of racism. The money is different in Hollywood for black or white. But whatever, we're still getting opportunities that we would have not gotten years ago. And that's not to discount our talent because we are some of the most talented people in the world. But Diane Carroll was a fucking and beautiful. Oh, God. my God. God, if you look oh at her God. and Claudine when she had the hair pulled up, That's like a, oh, oh, I love her and Claudine, yeah. and she was so good. The skin was so. Mm -hmm. She was the woman I wanted to be when I actually wanted to be a woman. Sister, you'll I'm never be a woman. Oh. <laughs> Security, I'm being attacked by the host. <laughs> Rest in peace, our great I Diane the, Carroll, the legend, the beauty. Uh, and, hold on, wait. And she was a, a great singer. A lot of people didn't know she was a great singer. When she didn't work in Hollywood for years as an actress, she worked in lots and lots of lounges and nightclubs. She sang. She kept her career going because she was a great singer. She actually had a song with Judy Garland. Mm. She and she stayed with Judy Garland. Judy Garland was a great singer. I'm telling you, I'm just educating you. Because you, know, you, you go way, way, way back. You watch me as a kid, so I need to teach you some shit. <laughs> this bitch, ain't, like but, this bitch ain't but six years younger than me, y'all. <laughs> uh, speaking of being six years younger, a carjacking in Houston. These got to be some jits that's doing this shit. It has no sound, so run the video and then put the video next to us so that we can, um, we can decipher what's going on and put it on a loop. When you got your own show, you run your own shit. <laughs> And you tell your production manager how to put the stuff up on the screen and your viewing. Oh, there it is there. There it is right there. Now you see this woman was at the gas pump or whatever. And oh, is he beating that woman like that? Yes. Look at, oh. She wouldn't give the key. She wouldn't give up the key. 
She wouldn't give her the kid. She look at her older lady. She wouldn't give it up. Look at that. Look. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, no. Drugger. Oh. The other man over there, like, bitch, where the key at, fuck, nigga? Come on here, bruh. Bro, let's go. Let's go, bruh. She like, I can't. I can't. All right, Mo. You done watching it up. Now, let's, let's, let's weigh in on this. That speaks volumes to me. That shows me that neither one of those young brothers have any love or respect for their mother. Because you're not yeah. going to beat no older woman like that. Because you somebody could beat your mother like that. That's all I see. Yeah. That's all I see, that you have no love or respect for your mother. That is awful. Well, hey. Well, my thing is, I was very angry with her, girl. She must have paid that car note on that truck or that insurance was going out of something because, baby, she would not let that key go. It's, it's, it's really sad. She it? would not let that key go. And let me tell y'all something. Now. I'm not trying to be funny, but I am. <laughs> because, girl, there's nothing just like those people. Why do people do that? Give that shit away. That shit is materialistic. Right. It's material. Motherfucker walk up on me, bitch. And to my get your car hair, girl. Bitch, because I'm shit sure. <laughs> uh, all stay stay fun. Guy cool, all that. I love stay fun. Bitch, and then not only that, bitch. You feel me? If somebody get in the car with me, and they act like they're gonna lean up from the back seat, come up like this in the back seat with me, I'm locking the door and I'm doing hundred miles an hour. We both gone. I'm fucking you up, nigga. That was the nigga. You you knew you had a death sentence climbing over there in the back seat of the car with me, knowing what you know. Remind me never to ride in Maddie's back seat. <laughs> 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 Knowing yes. the shit you know. She gonna try to take a bitch out. I'm gonna be all Bitch, you up. get mad at me because you motherfucker over there and I done got mad at you because you let these people call us he's and shit like that. And you say you all right with it. I want to suck my mother on their ass, bitch, and they get in the back seat with well, me. how do we get back to that? We were talking about the car, Jacob. How do we get back to this? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We were talking about the carjacking, bitch. That subject has passed, closed, and graveled. We're and we still on the, the carjacking. We're talking about the old and lady And we ain't talking about up. that time you was back there in the back seat of Chicago, honey, with that man's motherfucking uh, eggplant in your hand, bitch. We no. ain't talking about that See, kind of carjacking. She, she got the story all the way wrong. <laughs> I was hijacked by some white boys, but I got away. They hit me a little too hard, bitch. I was drunk. They sobered me up, bitch, with that first hit, bitch. But I got away to tell the story. What happened? Give us a story. I'm here. That's what happened. I won. They didn't. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. I'm here. Now, ask me where they at. Where are they? They're no longer here. <laughs> <laughs> where did they go? I'm like Donald Trump. It's fake news. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Listen, uh, that was very sad. That them, and these, these, young, these young boys are so angry. They don't have no jobs. They don't seem to have no purpose. They have no respect. They definitely have no respect for life. For the but to be the older woman like that, oh, you didn't. This was an older woman. She already not strong. Y'all could have just pushed her down and ran and took the truck and went. All this punching her and beating her. Do you know what type of lives that they probably have lived in their lives with their mothers? Yeah. Or lack of their mothers. Yeah. So that that shows you right there. So when they get caught up and, and taken down, fuck them niggas. We want some. Ooh, I want a band of old bitches to have motherfucking a bag of a bag of nickels. There's some bad old bitches out here now that carry their piece in their titty. Bitch, they I better know be glad they wasn't one. You a bad old bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. I, <laughs> there is nothing in my bra but beautiful breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. DeBro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that my God. pull out a pistol. And she was just in the wrong part of town. But yeah. there's some sisters that would have been in that right part of town that would have had a 22 right in there and, and played no games with them. Like I do every day. I heard you was gangster, Maddie. I didn't want to say it on camera on your show, but I heard you was slightly gangster. I'm about that life. That's that Dade County shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we just uh, we just this far down from Chicago. I don't know what you're talking about. Because I know about you Chicago, I'm bitch. a Christian, upstanding woman with impeccable morals and high standards. Well, that ain't what they said on your prison, <laughs> your prison record, bitch. Did they say? Girl, like, what they said that I was a conservative Christian. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Logo. Oh. All right, speaking of logo, Pose actress Dominique Jackson paid for a first-class ticket on American Airlines but has to sit in the restroom because she has a nut allergy. <laughs> oh, bitch, that was a joke. Wait a minute, my stomach just got tight. <laughs> this is not funny, ho, but it was funny the way you came with that. Well, no, it was the way you said it. It was, the re your deli it was your delivery. All right, well, I'll do she it again. She said she had a nut allergy. <laughs> It didn't say peanut allergy. It said a nut allergy. Well, that's what she said in the video. <laughs> mm. 
Roll the footage. <laughs> Can you tell so this is ridiculous. I'm paying for first class. And because I have a nut allergy and other people are paying for first class too, I have to sit in the bathroom. This happens on Delta. It happens on American. It happens on all the... The only place that doesn't do this to me is JetBlue. This is ridiculous. Like, what? Like, it's, it's, it's nuts. You can eat the nuts when you get off the plane. This is something that's life or death. So, I mean, you can't be accommodating to, to understand that someone could lose their life from nuts. But if it was one of you that had an issue with something like that, you know, with some a kind of allergy or something like that, you would want people to be understanding. I'm I'm, wait, I'm gonna follow your lead on this one. <coughs> no, th these your these your people. What do you think? You think they should create planes? You just say create your own lane. So should they have non non uh, peanut allergic flights, non -all allergic <laughs> flights from their own? So you can just book on that one. And she just said, now listen to what she said, because bitch, I'm not a lawyer, neither am I a rocket scientist. I didn't even go to college, but she said they don't do this at home on JetBlue but they do that to her on America, and she is clearly on American. So if you've experienced that once and you go back again, it sounds like you're kind of asking for I'm just stating, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> What's your friend's name? Uh, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> you're quiet over there in the, pre in the preacher's pul pulpit. You're quiet, baby. So what would you do if you knew you had a peanut allergy? And they do serve peanuts on most planes. They just give away peanuts. And she paid for a first-class seat. Did she put that in her rider? Did she put that in... On the contract when she was booking that flight, because first class, wherever she was going, is at least at $1,200. First of all, I got an issue with her buying her own first class ticket. She works with Ryan Murphy. Why he didn't buy it? I'm just saying. I'm asking for a friend. You keep turning your back to me. I'm going to grab this hair. <laughs> See, I, I, I understand exactly what she's saying. But this was a choice that she made because she said, and hear me clearly, and, and I'm not tearing Dominique down because I watch Pose. I think she's a great actress, that it happens to her on American. So maybe JetBlue wasn't going to where she needs to go that day, so she had to take that choice. You know with life comes consequences. There are consequences, repercussions for your action. She actively chose to fly, chose to fly on America where she knew they were going to serve peanuts, and she had a peanut allergy. <laughs> she hid in the bathroom because that's what she wanted to do, because I didn't see nobody with no gun in her head. I'm just saying. You got quiet. You, then why, is the wine that good? Give me, let me have a sip. <laughs> yeah, you, it, you can't have it both ways unless you're going to fly private. So until you start flying a private jet, you have to take what commercial gives you. That's is, it. That's it, the real of it. Is it so? Is it what so? Is the census so? Yeah, the census is so. It's done. It's done. What? Stay off American. Fly jet blue. Get your jet blue points up. It's called blue blue points. I know because I got blue points. <laughs> Girl, you know we gonna get, they gonna cuss me out. I've been cussed out before. I cuss out back though. That's, see, that's where it gets dangerous. What they say, I wanna read that. Somebody trying to freestyle. They freestyle don't be mad. No, we ain't gonna let them do that. Maddie, bitch, I'm gonna block that whole bit. Don't block, don't, block, don't, block, don't <laughs> bitch, bring it. Bitch, what am I, 12? Come on. Come on, you gonna walk over here, Cletus, but you gonna live back. <laughs> Shit, you got me fucked up. What's next? Where we at? Uh, speaking of, of having someone fucked up, T.I. spoke on his podcast expeditiously. Mm, come on, about, big word. Uh, expeditiously. Come on, big word. About Kanye's service at You Uber. must be a sesquipedalian. Sesquipedalian is the person that uses big word. No, that would be Craig. Mm. <laughs> I heard Craig had something big, but it wasn't his word. <laughs> You've been lied to. Oh! <laughs> Craig, she's attacking you! <laughs> this no. queen right here, she right here. <laughs> Oh, my God. No, those are, I, I'm, that's not the truth. I love T.I. Craig has a nice burrito. First of all, I'm <laughs> <laughs> T.I., you're talking about, say, you cannot stay on something. No more gummies for you. <laughs> <laughs> T.I. spoke on his podcast expeditiously about Kanye's service at New Birth, he said he felt seduced mm. by the visiting pastor. Mm. We're going to use those words again. He felt seduced. <laughs> Can you all say it with me? Seduced. T.I. Mm -hmm. felt seduced mm -hmm. by the visiting pastor. Mm. 
The pastor asks for 20 people to sacrifice. 1K. Sacrifice. 1K. $1,000. Oh, okay. First of all, let's go to new birth. New birth got a history already with uh, what's his what's the Sa- well, two, they already got a history of sacrifices. Well, what's the pastor's name? The pastor Eddie away? Long did Eddie Long. Long. Eddie Long did Long. So uh, oh, how you know? How you know he had the long? He didn't like trainees. He liked boys. So bitch, when you called me and told me that R. Kelly story in a different way, you thought I forgot. Oh, <laughs> but he didn't like trainees. He liked boys. So you think that you're not a boy? You're a trans woman. But you don't think that we all in the community talk the L B G T dot 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 T. That's the problem with some of these young bitches. They talking too much, bitch. <laughs> Keep your damn mouth shut, bitch. Keep your pocket. Well, I'm pocket glad full. these boys didn't keep their mouth closed. Well, and it helped the minister get on home to glory. First of all, he let, here's, here's my issue with it. I wouldn't have felt seduced. First of all, Kanye couldn't talk me out of shit. Kanye couldn't talk me out of shooting him. <laughs> Kanye is a Donald Trump supporter, and he's a complete clown for, for the black community. Let me just say it. He may be a musical genius in some people's eyes, not in mine. He did have a couple of hits that I like. And that nigga from Chicago. But he is caught up under that Kardashian web of spin of whoop. Seduce. She, the fuck are seduced. They didn't put the foo pops on it. <laughs> As all men that deal with the Kardashian women, bitch. Because they got a magic spell for your ass. Inside. Starting, starting with the mama. That's the most powerful pussy on the planet. That pussy is so dangerous. Let me tell you what that pussy do. That pussy is so powerful, it makes white men turn into white women and makes black men cut off white women's head. I had some of that Chris Kardashian pussy. You do realize I used to be a white man named David. Ah! <laughs> Stay away from the Kardashian coochie, y'all! <laughs> it's tainted. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so Kanye West, wait, Kanye, I feel for you, brother. I get it. They put that old black spell on you. Ooh, so if black women got magic. Black women, boys, black black girl man. If black women got magic and white women got wizardry, what do Latino women have? Fertility. <laughs> bitches have three babies a year. They gonna take over this country. <laughs> now, Twenty years, bitch. they gonna win this year. Strength the numbers, baby. The Latinos ain't playing with y'all. I was a dating Mexican. He was about four foot two. He used to be hunching on my thigh. He thought he was in the hole. He was just getting it, y'all. Every time he was getting, it, I just rub me the check, rub me the check, rub me the check, rub me the check. Latino men will give you all their money, and they will paint you like a Picasso. Oh, see that? Why you got to be all graphic and shit? Why is she? Oh my! Cause you need to tell the truth. We've been telling the truth all night. So let's talk about how Ti felt seduced by the visiting pastor. The pastor asked for twenty people to sacrifice a thousand dollars. Was Kanye the pastor? That was the other week when Kanye. Kanye was performing at New Birth. He performed at New Birth. He did. He did rap at the church. No, he's doing like he's doing like this gospel type. He's trying to find God. Jesus after the He's trying to find Jesus after finding the Kardashian. Mm. I'm just saying they are very Armenian. much so. They are Armenian, like Area 51. God, and when God comes Release back, me. when God comes back, they say He's gonna be Persian. He's coming from Persia. So I'm just saying, when Jesus come back, He's coming from Persia. Maybe He's trying to get in early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I mean, here's my problem, and then I'm gone. Y'all at the church let the pastor tell y'all to give y'all they last your last thousand dollars while they pull off in their Royce Royce over there at New Bern. I pity the fool. All next right. case. Next case. Next case. Well, next out of the case is shoots and ladders. What's that? Girl, what's going on here, Craig? Right. You always pick this right. the, this craziest shit. <laughs> The stairs? <laughs> I like this, the stairs. Girl. Oh, Jesus. He dying? No. No. Oh, oh, look, I ain't. Oh, okay, we don't want to see that no more. Okay. Right? If you don't have insurance, just call Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Ladies, if you ever want to know what Jake from State Farm looks like, 
Hi, I'm Jake. Say far. <laughs> so if you catch a man on the phone at three o'clock in the morning, say who are you talking? Your woman on the phone say who are you talking to? She say who is it? She say he says it's Jake from State Farm. Get you a video camera because sometimes Jake from State Farm looks just like her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this bitch just got me. Baby. Couldn't look like you, but had to look like he me. Looks like you, girl. You know you. You know your man. Oh, okay, I we get you. Pass, I get you, girl. You better be, you better be careful, cause I know where you live. Just I'm, like this, just like this next motherfucker knew where this bitch worked at. I'ma do you one. Watch closely, sister, cause this may just well, very well happen to you. I need you to role play. So, okay, we breaking this down. That's how I jumped through your motherfucking shit when I done told you, bitch, I'm gonna come to your fucking job and tear that ass up. And I'm gonna come in and tear that ass up and then I'm gonna leave your job with your curling eyes, bitch. Especially oh, if you was doing you know that. that. You know what that caption should be. What? You tell me it's another nigga in there? The nigga I said, you ain't gonna open the door because you got another nigga in there? Boom! Through the window. That's a black man move. That's a black man move? Oh, that's a brother move. Okay, let me tell you another window, caption. Bitch. Let me tell you another black caption. Bitch, you almost motherfucking thought I didn't know where you worked there, bitch. I done followed you three or four times, bitch, and you almost hit me the other morning, bitch. I just had to scope out it was the man's school. I'm going to come through that and cut y'all on your bitch ass Ooh. and run back there. Yeah, bitch, I'm talking about the one in the back with these motherfucking golden hearts. All the rest of you bitches is safe. Hey, bitch, I'm telling you something. I got what I need. I'm finna motherfucking let you hold no bitch. I'm out of this bitch. Bitch, move out of my motherfucking way, bitch. You ain't going to hell. Now another day in this motherfucker. I got a better caption, bitch. That's Jesse Smollett busting through the window, bitch, trying to get another job. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yo, cut it out, Mo! Cut it out! Cut it out, Mo! <laughs> I'm sorry, in the words of Dave Chappelle, Juicy Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of Juicy. Hey, it's Juicy, baby. I love this Juicy. Look funny looking at it. <laughs> Wendy. Oh, speaking of funny looking. Oh. Wendy. She said it, I did. Wendell. Bartholomew. Oh. Orenthal. <laughs> Rufus. Clyde. Theodos. Pookie. El Dover. James and the Giant Peach. Hezekiah Walker Williams. The Lady. The queen of daytime TV. Miss Williams. Miss Williams is a woman who must pay her husband, Hunter, $250,000 so that he can secure new living arrangements, mm. according to the documents. Hunter also needs to vacate their marital home in Livingston, New Jersey, which he, which he or excuse me, which was put up for sale over the summer. Williams, meanwhile, has been living in a swanky apartment in Manhattan that costs fifteen thousand dollars a month. She got it. I don't see nothing wrong. Well, I want to know who he's trying to get a two hundred fifty thousand. How that? She need, that listen. He been taking care. Of, listen, she been the man in the relationship. With the, even though she's a woman, she been the man in the relationship. Stop. Stop. Let's go. Let's revisit what I just said about the the, the trans women in relationships. Let's go back since we're going way, oh! way, 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 way back. Uh huh. Let's go back. She was taking care of him. You had a boyfriend before. Who wore the pants in that relationship? See how the bitch get quiet? Wendy was wearing the pants <laughs> in that relationship. Yeah. The dominant women run the relationships. You were a dominant woman in your relationship, so you ran it. She was the dominant. She the breadwinner. Who he trying to get a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house for? For his girlfriend and a new baby, or the first baby that he had? Wait, the first. You know, wait, has hold on, wait. Was, I could. Did you yeah, say first? The first baby that he had with the same girl. Oh, they, I thought you no, said baby it daddy. Ain't when it's two relationships, when it's two babies, when it's one baby, they ain't fucking no more. It's a relationship, it's connection. So let's go back to Kevin Hunter, the husband who's gangster, who was got caught tr messing around with a tranny about fifteen years ago. A transgender woman. I I, I said a tranny bitch. I know what the fuck I see. <laughs> Bitch, ain't shit wrong with me. I just look like this. <laughs> 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 
with a tranny about 15 years ago who has disappeared off the face of the earth. Now, was she paid or has she become Houdini bitch and disappeared? I'm waiting for the Queen's Court to answer. The Queen's Supreme Court. Let me get it right, bitch. I don't want to get slapped. Them hands are about to be. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, come on with it, Carla. You there? I'm okay. here. I'm listening to you. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting for the great T.S. Madison. Like I said, answer. I feel that, that Wendy does. Oh, this man, he ain't worried. He ain't worried. He she, worked hard, bitch. He was pimping the show. Oh, he, he was her manager. He, he was her producer, her manager. He got her gig. So and very aggressive. When the gig is cut off, she pay him his severance pay and let him know about his business. I don't, know what's going, I don't know if it's going to go that easily or that smoothly. He don't seem like he going to pull a Jeff Bezos and just walk away. Jeff Bezos gave his ex-wife $60 billion and walked away. They still friends. I don't think that Kevin going to do that. Different men, different constitution. You know, I still got to uh, own Amazon. Mm -hmm. I just want you, that's your big, big money, real money. Serious change. I don't know why he ain't called me. I did a commercial talking about how big his penis was. The nigga should have gave me a commercial for Amazon. I wanted Amazon in my boxes in my bra. I had a full beard. Don't nobody ask no questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin ain't did. What did she, she knew she was going to have to pay. She yeah. did come off the executive producer, so he ain't going to get no more of that money. That money has shut down. But she Which I feel like that now this is his severance pay. Pay the man his severance well, pay. Shit, all well, the shit he did a, to... They don't have a bring down, so she's going to have to pay. She's going to have to pay. Oh, more than this? I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, they've been married for too long. They've been together for 25 too long. 25 years, right? Yeah, like 20 years. Something Girl, like she's going to always be She's gonna always be better than him. And she always gives the advice, you know, for people who have like, just go ahead and cut the check and you still she, in your biggest earning years. She's going to always be better than him anyway. Let him pay And you. she tears everybody in half, so turnabout is fair play. Right. One day you'll know just how it feels. Payback is a dog. <laughs> Wendy tears everybody in half. So I'm not saying that what happened to her was not, was not a good thing. Was you know when was bad, but it was a scene hey, she planted in the baby, ground. Baby, hey, it's what you give out, you get back. My, my she, only she, issue is when you're the reason that the marriage has ended. In this case, he was. Do you? I just don't think that it's fair that the person who makes the most money has to pay them out. Just like with Mary J. Blige, her husband was. Yeah, well, they like those kind of men. You know, say that, say that they, again for the people in the back. They like those kind of men. Mm. They, they, they what kind of time, man is that? The, the one that put that dick, that long dick on them, and they can't. About, I don't know about all the dick. I don't know if that's all about dick. That well, I wasn't finished. You should let me finish. That's, that's, that's how y'all do it. Y'all y'all aggressive ones. They be jumping all in on the oh, soft bitch. Y'all aggressive ones. They be jumping now, in now on you soft. What you say, one? Same bitch that carry pistols. I'm talking about. Same bitch that carry pistols up on the weed. Now this No, that's that other hoe. I carry them right where I can reach them. It's, it's a sad state of affairs, though. And, and they have a son. You know, you have to feel bad for the son because all the stories that came out about Kevin Hunter with him getting caught with the woman and then the gay guy came out and said that he came over and had sex with him. You know, mm -hmm. her, their son sees this. Your children see this. This is what's detrimental to us as a society. It's it's bad enough that we do the shit that we do, but then when you involve children, children that shit stays with them forever. He will always have a different opinion of his father, and he could have had the greatest dad. Kevin could have been a piece of shit to, as a husband, but he could have been a great dad. But now his son is only going to see this muddy water and what Wendy has to say about, about him and how she and how she. But has been. at the end of the day, we just got to circle it back around to what you said, Flame. What is that? Whatever seeds in the ground is what you will harvest. I'm talking about the kid. I ain't worried about Wendy. Hunt, well, listen, Hunt, sometimes Kevin your Brown. harvest, that's why you got to be careful the seeds you plant because sometimes your harvest could fall in your kid's basket too. Well, for the record, I haven't planted a seed since I've been in Carolina. Let me just say. <laughs> but the night is still young. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Speaking of a young night, in Baltimore, y'all need to get y'all bull, y'all bulls together, bitch. They said a bull is running loose in that motherfucker. What's going on in Baltimore, bitch? I gotta get to Baltimore. Baltimore has shown me so much love. Y'all gotta get me down to Baltimore. I heard that Baltimore plays no games. I want to find out. Well, let's see what's going on here. Bull was actually in the field behind me for most of the time, but then they used the tranquilizers and it slowly started to walk out. Our truck was parked right here on the corner. I wasn't paying attention. I stepped out, took a few steps, looked up, and the bull was less than 10 feet in front of me. Thankfully, an officer pulled me out of the way. We both crouched down behind the truck together. But bottom line, this just was not a normal day. The tranquilized bull loaded back onto the truck it came from, 
hours after it somehow busted through the truck door, ran through a West Baltimore neighborhood, and stood stubbornly in a field on the Coppin State University campus. I see a bull coming down the street and seen the trailer, but the bull beat the trail out and started to come running this way. It tried to get it to go towards North Avenue, but it didn't, so it ran over to the field. And that's where it ended up. Three hours after the bull made its escape, zoo personnel shot it with tranquilizer darts and waited as it strolled back down neighborhood streets and eventually came to rest. Owner Scott was emotional as he thanked first responders. These people were unbelievable. The restraint that they showed, they could have shot that bull two hours ago and been done with it. They were courteous and kind, and I just owe them a debt of gratitude because we could have turned out a lot different today. <laughs> Take that motherfucker. Send that bitch out of here. Because first of all, he'd have ran loose down there day. Kind of bitch. We'd have had some motherfucking goddamn uh, barbecue. burgers. Barbecue. 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 Bitch. Burgers. Burgers, bitch. Okay, so how smart was this report? Who she know to get this job? Because they said the bull was loose. This bitch go out to interview in a red dress <laughs> and a bull is on the loose. <laughs> bitch, did you, were you asking for it? <laughs> <laughs> then they shoot the bull with tranquilizers. Couldn't have been a black man. Wouldn't have been no tranquilizer. <laughs> Ask Amber Geiger. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, I said it, bitch. What's she gonna do? She in jail? <laughs> <laughs> she got a number. Yes. I'm a writer, bitch. I'm gonna send her a money order for a dollar. Tell her buy a new attitude. She got only one, baby. It's changed. Now, they done hugged in there and put the God, the spirit of God on her. Girl, I don't know if that was God. I ain't gonna put God in that. That was some bullshit. Somebody was trying to hold on to their job, i.e. the judge. Uh, speaking of holding on, face. holding on to a job, mm -hmm. a mother of an infant was on her live smoking weed and spinning her baby around. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw this. I, have you not seen this yet? I have not oh, seen this. Let, let's introduce you to your first time. Oh, my God. Like, shout the very first time. Everybody ain't got no business having children. Mm. I don't give a fuck how many can have. So is that weed? Yeah. I don't know, bitch. That looked like the pipe. I don't know what that is, but this is this is the baby. This is the this is look at the hold of the baby up. Oh god. Oh girl. Hi, oh, oh man. This is terrible. And you know what the the thing that worked my nerves when they when they jump up and they have these what is it, Craig? Pejoratives. Mm -hmm. You can have I can have Bitch, I, got, I can have a baby, you can't. And then a lot of them bitches are saying shit like they're doing this kind of shit right here to a baby. Oh, wow. Mm. Dirty bitch, you. You dirty bitch. Well, let's not discount her skills for holding a baby with one hand. And <laughs> let's just see it for what it is. Because if she was smoking weed when the baby's here, I'm sure she was smoking weed when she was pregnant with the baby. Yeah. Why didn't the hospital take the baby? If you, when they, they test the child's blood, they sh I'm sure they saw THC in the blood. Girl, you so girl, you so reportive, so deep. I'm just giving you the whole story, but let's not discount that the bitch could have been a professional athlete with that one arm <laughs> skill. <laughs> she could have gained Steph Curry a run for his money, bitch, with old nasty yeah. three point, and did not drop the baby. Skills, bitch. Now, there was another video we don't have that I'm sure where they had arrested her, bitch. They should have. Baby, she was out there screaming. But I do think the woman suffers from um, mental illness. Is that what they call smoking weed now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Because they say it's not a drug. I ain't never smoked weed. But I tell you, these gummies take me someplace else, bitch. I like where I go. I'm there. But I ain't holding no baby with no one arm, bitch. <laughs> no, I might hold a baby leg with one arm. That's a whole nother show, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, our last animal thing going on for the night, Craig. You just had these things on. A Bronx woman climbs over the railing of the lion's den. Stop that. Let's look at this. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
The bitch crazy. Mm -hmm. Or oh, either she cra she crazy. <laughs> Now they were saying in the articles though that there's a small moat in between her and the lion, but I don't know how wide that moat is. That's a lion, know. Craig. Exactly. So, Have I you mean, seen yeah. Kilimanjaro when the monkeys right. got loose? I still wouldn't have done it, but I'm just. Have you know. seen Daniel's and the lions did in the Bible? You already know what had went down. Look at that again. Mm -hmm. Look at the video we just saw. They live in the same city. I bet you she had some of the same kush that other bitch was smoking with the one arm baby. <laughs> <laughs> and made that bitch invincible. She felt like she could take on a lion, bitch. That was I need a hit of that, bitch. I ain't never smoked weed, but I need some of that, bitch. That shit is powerful. <laughs> I need to know that I can accomplish some shit, bitch. Ooh, baby, let me tell you something. That lion was sizing her up, bitch. He was gonna tear her ass up. Yeah, he was. Okay. Yes, he was. But and you know the sad part about that shit. They was gonna motherfucking put that lion to sleep. No. Say also, that again. They was, they was gonna, gonna do what to it? They was gonna put that motherfucking lion to sleep. To sleep, not kill it. The bull, they put to sleep. They didn't kill it. A black man stopped at a traffic light. They killed, right. not put to sleep. This is the problem with our country. So let me revisit this before we end the show, because this is my docket, goddammit. And right now it's my shit. Move your ass off, bitch. <laughs> let me tell you all something right now, and this is education from me. When I see shit that says gays for Trump, Latinos for Trump, black for Trump, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You can't be dumb and stupid unless you're diamond and silk. <laughs> then you're dumb and stupid. That's what DNS stands for, dumb and stupid. Make a choice and make the right choice because you're not voting for now, you're voting for your future. This man is single-handedly trying to take out the country. As far as the transgender, male and female, he's trying to erase us. Like we're nothing, we disappear. I truly believe in my whole heart of hearts that he was burned by a tranny in his youth. Either she robbed him or she fooled him or something because he has a vendetta against the trans women, period. He's out to take us out, and trans men just fall up under the umbrella because they fall up under trans, which is what I was saying. We all different, but they, because we fall up under the same thing. But we're not voting for that. You're voting for some shit that you... Jim Jones killed over 100 people with a glass of Kool-Aid because they believed in what he was saying. The farmers are losing their farms every day because they voted for Trump and are still talking about voting for Trump. West Virginia and Kentucky went to vote with oxygen tanks and oxygen masks and wheelchairs because they didn't want to be on Obamacare, which was Affordable Care Act, which provided them with their wheelchairs and their uh, uh, electric and, and their, uh, their, gas, their, their oxygen machines. You can't be this foolish to see that this man is not caring about you. The coal miners, I never went to, co to college. He said he was going to bring back coal. And I'm going to grow a coochie tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I just want you to believe what I'm saying, since y'all believe everything that he's saying. You better make a decision to vote. We got 12 candidates. I don't know who is going to win, because I'm scared of all of them right now. <laughs> Ain't nobody gave me what I need but Elizabeth Warren. But this bitch can't make up her mind, whether she Indian, white, black, or Caucasian. <laughs> she don't know what the fuck. So until she make up her mind, we got her. I like the tenacity and diligence of Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is smart enough to know not to take a knife to a gunfight, but her past of black and, locking black men up in San Francisco, no ma'am. Not a snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> Joe Biden, we liked you because you was Rama's first-hand man. Nigga, you too rickety. You can't make up your mind. You can't remember what you said five minutes ago. I think you had some gummies. Let me just call the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a booty gag, booty judge. Booty judge got good platform, but he too soft. He too weak. I need some strength up in there. You can't, got to go toe to toe with Donald Trump because he gonna pull out all the stops to win. Booty Jazz too soft. Plus he gay and his name Booty Jazz. I got a problem with that. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Who I'm forgetting? See nobody else. Cory Booker. Pff, don't worry about. It. He Bernie needs, Sanders. Oh, Bernie Sanders is so old. How old is Bernie Sanders? Bernie Sanders is so old that when Moses parted the Red Sea, Bernie Sanders was on the other side, sweet his legs, fishing, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like Bernie Sanders. Too old. Yeah, he can't have I already said Kamala Harris. Ain't got a snowball chance in here. I like him. I like her tenacity and her due diligence. And she she will go toe to toe to fight. But she ain't made up her mind whether she's a black woman yet either. Yeah. We Andrew we James. And I like the Yang. I like Yang. I like Andrew Yang. Uh, Andrew Yang ain't gonna win, but I like Andrew Yang. <laughs> we need somebody who's going to win. And we need to get behind, too. All these candidates makes nobody. Who, who is running against Donald Trump? One person? Nobody is going to beat this machine if we don't come together as a world. 
to take him down. It's just not going to happen. And four more years of Donald Trump, we can't survive it. Not as a people, not as a country, not as a nation, not as a trans community. Because if we thought he took away everything, next he's going to take away our health care and our housing and our mental stability. He's going to take away our hormones. Everything that we need and we have fought for, everything that, Donald, that Barack Obama built, Donald Trump is trying to erase because he has so much hate towards this man. You know, and, and, and his supporters are diehard followers. They follow this man, and they're going to follow him to the grave. I wish I had a cup of Kool-Aid for all of them from the Jim Jones diary. <laughs> I do. I pass it. What color do you want? Purple or red? I'm going to give you choices. <laughs> please, please, ladies and gentlemen, vote. Trans brothers and sisters, gay community, LGBT, I know y'all don't always ride with what I'm saying. Ride with this. Get your ass up, go register to vote, and then get up on voting day and take your ass to the polls to vote. Make it important. Make it important in your life because if you don't, we will be the first ones that go. We we gonna be at the bottom of the totem pole. We will be the first ones to be chopped away. If he could put us all on the island and blow us up, Maddie, he probably would. Shit, I ain't going to that. Motherfucker. But I'm taking his wife with me because she looked like one of us. <laughs> Say what you want to about Melania, but that bitch be done. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Melania be painted and down and hair. Speaking of ha- painted, what's my girl's name who painted me? Regine. Regina. Regina. Ladies and gentlemen, Regina had, to, and I'm very particular about my mug, but she did a really good job. I only had to cuss her out like one time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very pleased. Thank you. And Maddie, your girl just, oh my God, I've never seen you look so incredible. Did you put on extra because I was coming? <laughs> I did because I know you like chicks with dicks. No, that would be Malik Yoba, but we didn't have that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that no bitch. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of our show. And before we leave you, what we got to always do, one got to go. And on tonight's one got to go, I'm, I'm kind of, Craig, I'm not really in the, you got to write these things. Wait a minute, who are the groups? Right, because I'm. we both over here. 112, 112 Boyce and Dad, and Oh, I like 112. And I like Wait, Drew Hill. Wait, is Drew Hill? Drew Hill. Okay, I know that's Siska. 112. Oh. <laughs> 112, Jodeci. Jodeci. Why would you pick these old, oh, old pictures? Wait a minute. Why to me? Oh, because well, we, we well, if I had to get rid of one of them, it's going to have to be 112. I'm so, and I love 112, but if I had to get it had to be 112. You only acting like that because you're in Atlanta and you already know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rid of no, no, I'm, I'm taking 112 out of the equation. If, right. If one got to go, it would be 112 for me. But you, why, why would you not let them stay? Because you know you down here in Atlanta, you know you want to act like this. They from you, here? No. Yeah, they from what? Yeah, they from here. The other three groups, you know you done had everybody in that group. See, that's why you trying to sing an I-112 like that. Because you wow. know you you know. Damn. They ain't want nobody. She done told all my fucking secrets, y'all. I, okay, I got to go. I, I, <laughs> 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 no, but boys to me have songs that I would never want to give up. Uh, Cisco had Thong Song, and he also had uh, some songs in his group How that you remember great. that song? I remember, girl, I used to do the female version of Thong Song. And what's the other group? Jodeci. 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 I can't. KC. Let me tell you something. KC made Mary J. Blige write the greatest song of her mother, greatest album of her career, yeah, My true. Life. Yeah. That dick was powerful. That was Kardashian <laughs> dick, not pussy. Kardashian dick on on KC. No, he that was very good and crazy. No, that was Coke Boonk and Hennessy and shit. <laughs> no, that was K, jo, K KC. Ain't but one pound and three ounces. That, and all that was due the to three cold. ounces is the weight. The one pound is <laughs> this bitch. And Mary was gone, bitch. Mary was supposed to say, if you look at my line, you see what I, Mary, you better go back and get some of that because that Ken do wasn't doing the job, bitch. Um, let me say, he wanted some money. I don't like men that take money from women that they've been married to. And it shows a sign of weakness to me. I don't like weak men. I like strong men. Because if you're weak in my bedroom, you gonna be wearing my panties, nigga. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, for me, the person, the one that had to go was I like them all, but one twelve, you would have to go. See how you gonna give me all this and then gonna agree with me? See, this is why I don't. This is why no queens come on this show. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no, this I had a great time. You did. You this so has much. been our show tonight. I want to thank my special guest, Flame Monroe. Listen, I y'all give Flame a round of applause. So let me get my let me do my let me do my cheap shots. October the 27th, you can catch me in St. Louis, Missouri at um, Mystic Grill in association with Hang 10 Productions. You get your tickets on Eventbrite. October 31st, I will be in L.A. at the J-Spot Comedy Club, which is a 5581 West Manchester. November the 10th, the greatest show on earth is happening in Indianapolis, Indiana for the Queen King pageantry system. All the information is on my wall. And November 19th in L.A., Comedy Union, 
D-Lay, Sherwin Array, Memphis Wood, greatest comics in my eyes right now on the planet is coming to hang with me. So y'all come out, see me somewhere, Google me, Facebook, I'm backwards on Instagram, Monroe Flame, because I'm a backwards bitch. This wig is about to come off, the mama didn't cook, bitch, I'm ready to go. I'm tired of being a girl. I'm ready to, ch what time is it? I'm ready to change up. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see y'all on the... Cracking the cold cases. Love you guys. Bye. Queen Supreme Court. We here. Thank you. Ooh, I'm so hairy under my arm. Oh, child, we are at it again, honey. And this time, we're taking the Queen's Supreme Court live show down to the Riviera Maya in Mexico. Now, girl, y'all already know how we went down there to the Dominican Republic last year and told them people down. Baby, we let the Dominican Republic have it, baby. Mexico, it's y'all turn, and y'all better get ready. Mark your calendars. July 10th through the 15th, you need to rush over there to www.qscvacations.com. That's qscvacation.com to get your ticket. Everything is included, baby. Food, drinks, and lodging, girl. All you got to do is get there. So come on. Don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. Die to the bar in Mexico. Yes, God. Honey. What's up, everybody? Make sure you're tuned in every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. to my very new web series, Beyond the Bench. You'll be glad you did. It's on my YouTube channel, T.S. Madison Hinton. See you there. Bye. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation.